Volvo Turbo, road holding, acceleration, turbo power. Volvo Turbo. Volvo. Coil springs all the way around. You ride in safety while you ride in comfort in a Volvo. The new Volvo GLT Turbo. Our engineers love it for sound engineering reasons. Our test drivers just love it. Another lap. What if Volvo decided to bring back the Volvo 240 today? What would that look like? That's what we're going to find out in today's video as I will redesign the classic Volvo 240 into a 2021 model. And by the way, I see a flying theme in these old Volvo 240 commercials, which is interesting. It's maybe a hint to sob. Anyway, car commercials were way cooler back in the day, that's for sure. But now let's not waste any time. Let's jump into Photoshop and let's see how this 2021 Volvo 240 is going to turn out. The Volvo 240, the Swedish tank of the 1980s and 90s. To me, this is a special car. It's a car that's always been there. Growing up just outside Stockholm, Sweden, the Volvo 240 was always part of the picture in one way or another. It was there at colorful summer graduations and birthday parties. It was my friend's mom's car that took us to soccer practice every week. My teacher had a weird brown colored one that never failed to show up during my middle school years. On top of that, it was my officer's trusty machine that followed the muddy and snowy paths of our terrain vehicle when I was in the military. Pretty much, the Volvo 240 was everywhere. The 240 was a big part of my childhood and adolescence, and I love everything about this car. It's simple and effective, reliable and built like a tank to withstand the long, dark and harsh Scandinavian winters. It's a companion you can trust to always have your back. Produced for nearly 20 years, stretching from 1974 to 1993, the Volvo 200 series came in many versions and trim levels over the years. There was the DL, the GL, the GLE, the GLT, the GT and the Turbo. There was also a few special trim levels such as the GTX, which was more of a sporty package than a separate trim level for the 240. Before the introduction of the 200 series, Volvo created a concept called the VESC, the Volvo Experimental Safety Car, which was unveiled in 1972 at the Geneva Motor Show and showcased a number of innovative passenger safety features that would later be applied in the Volvo 200 series. And it's a pretty interesting looking car. There was also the legendary 262C Bertone with its low angled greenhouse and they even made a convertible out of it. However, due to safety concerns, only five convertibles were ever built. You can easily tell the difference between a US market 240 and a Euro spec, mainly by looking at the front headlights. For the car to be sold in the US, Volvo had to change the headlights to meet US regulations of the time. And this meant plugging the holes with the headlight wipers and altogether switching them out to sealed beam headlights from 1975 to 1985. A change that gave the 240 a very American look. Now let's talk about the design and what's going on here in this redesign or modernization of the Volvo 240. To me, Volvo has always had clean lines. It's part of who they are. It's part of Scandinavian design. And they kind of ventured away from this style with more curvy lines and designs from 2011 to 2016 with the S60, for example. I really liked the first generation S60. To me, that is one of the most beautiful Volvos ever created. I love it. It's more confident and it's more structured and more Volvo, more Scandinavian. 
Same with the current 2020 Volvo design. Take the S60 here, for example. Again, it's simple, stylish, and again, very Scandinavian in its lines and also in the materials used. So that's the theme that I want to use for my redesign here. I want to keep the boxy proportions, the tank-like feel of the original 240, work on the greenhouse to bring it into today's design and of course regulations and of course the same goes for the graphics of the car i want to have it be recognizable as a modern volvo and take some inspiration from current designs and current sedans of volvo and put that onto the old proportions of the 240. one key design feature of the 240 and also the early 2000 volvos is the very strong rounded shoulder line and that's a feature I want to underline even more in this redesign because it has such a history with Volvo and stretches over decades. So adding this feature to this modernization is really putting some weight on it and will add an important connection with the Volvo DNA. A few things that we have to do to this design to make it modern is of course to work on the wheels and also the wheel houses. They need to be further out in the 70s and I think it's it went away in the mid 80s. You had these wheel houses that kind of curved in. So at the bottom of the side of the car you have this curvature that goes in under the car. But nowadays it almost goes straight down all the way to the, to the lowest part of the car. And that will of course change the design of the wheelhouse as well. And this is going to change all the way up until the very last minute of this redesign. So make sure you stay around for the last part of this video to see the final, 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 dot, final <laughs> result of this design right here. But the key thing here to me was to keep this very clear and very clean when it comes to design. Nothing should be overstyled when it comes to a Volvo and it, 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 it hasn't been except for that era in between around 2010 all the way up to 2017. I think the XC90, XC60 was still in production with that type of design language, which to me didn't feel like, like proper Volvo, but I'm really happy that they made the decision to go back from that more organic and soft and stylized styling of Volvos of that time and then completely switch it up 
with the new XC90 and then of course the S90 and the V90 and now we have the V60 and the S60 as well which just all look absolutely fantastic. For the wheels I wanted something very elegant and not too advanced or complex. So I think the best wheels that I could find for this specific redesign was the V90 and S90 wheels that I changed later on in this redesign as well. I started with some uh, sport package wheels. I think it was from a uh, V90R design and that just doesn't really suit the overall design of this 240, 2021 240 here. So I had to come up with something more elegant and less in your face, less stylized basically. And I just love these. I think these are 21 inch wheels if I'm not mistaken. And they look fantastic on the S and V90. And they also look fantastic on this modernization of the 240 here. So this is my redesign of the Volvo 240. One of the cars that's been requested a lot in my DMs and on Instagram. Uh, more specific, more more so from Swedish fans, of course, because it's natural that they want to see a uh, a modernized version of a car that we all grew up with. So I had a lot of fun doing this, and it was a challenge because you don't with old cars like this from the 80s, you don't really have a lot of design distinct design features to go with. If unless it's a Lamborghini Countach, for example, which is all about distinct design. But when it comes to uh, I did the Lada for a, a while back as well, that had the same issue. You need to kind of come up with something new that is going to kind of go away from the original. But that's the only way that you can really update it without having it be the exact same styling that, that the original has with just some LEDs and some different wheels on it. If you want to create a proper modernization of an old car, as in this case the 240 or the Lada, I need to come up with some new graphical features for the car that is more in line with today's cars of that specific brand than it was to the original car that we're working on in this case the Volvo 240. Thank you so much for staying until the end of this video I really appreciate it and that to me means that you really enjoyed it so you might as well hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm the Sketch Monkey take care and I will see you in the next video.